Hey, what's going on guys? So I'm on my way to show one of my apartments to a real estate agent that's gonna help me market the apartment so I can actually rent it. So the first one, I already have it. Um, you know, it's already rented. So I'm working on the second one, which I just got. And this traffic is crazy. So I wanted to shoot a, a quick video for you guys, give you some value about something that has really helped me in 2018. Just get started with the right foot. And 2017, honestly, was a great year but I think I just didn't have my habits on point. I, you know, I, I was doing a, a lot of work-related stuff, but now this year I'm focusing more on on self-development as well. You know, like habits, things that can actually contribute a lot to my mindset, um, getting out of my comfort zone more. So I, I feel, honestly right now, I feel like more successful than ever and it has nothing to do uh, with money or real estate or those things. It's mostly related to to myself like beating like competing against myself in, in different aspects so I'm just gonna tell you a couple of things that I'm doing to to have better days in general be more energetic be more productive have a better attitude and be more positive so what I'm doing is I'm taking advantage of the first things in the day and the last uh, minutes of the day right so I see a lot of people just watching the news as soon as they wake up and as soon as they sleep and honestly the majority of people do that um, the majority of people watch the news as soon as they wake up and as soon as they sleep but if you take a look at the news and you don't really analyze this but most things that you see in the news are not positive they are negative uh, like literally today I was at the gym I don't see the news honestly and they have a TV over there I go at 6 a.m. I'm already in, in the gym and they have a TV they put the news sometimes it was like these uh, little children being raped by these uh, freaks and then you had these politicians, you know, all the scandals about these politicians. You had some uh, crazy sketchy stuff now on the elections because, because we have the elections really soon. And imagine like just consuming all of that negative energy, all of those negative thoughts as soon as you're starting your day. And if you, if you wanna have a successful life, you wanna have a successful day, a productive day, if you want to be positive, energetic, if you want to just crush the day and be super satisfied, like said, man, I actually won today, today I won, it was an amazing day, then filling your head with negative things that you see on TV is never going to take you one step forward, right? It's not going to contribute to your goal. And, you know, a lot of people say like, you know, but, but I have to be informed. And, and I, I agree with that to a certain extent. It depends on your goals. I feel if you just want to have, be more energetic, be more positive, it simply doesn't contribute to your day to, to actually put all this information in the beginning of your day. Like the beginning of your day, it's so important. It's going to dictate how you actually perform on the rest of your day, right? So the first thing I'm doing and something, and you can copy this as well. The first thing I'm doing, it's not like, it's literally sitting down, just waking up, and doing a 15 minute priming slash meditation session, right? So before I was like, man, how do you meditate? How do you do priming? All those things. Honestly, I, I was just following a Tony Robbins routine that last 15 minutes or so until I learned it and I started adding some parts by myself. But it's simply a 15 minute time for myself where I sit down and I visualize all my goals for the year. I visualize me in that precise moment where when I achieve the goal, I simply, um, I mean, a very quiet scenario, just a time for myself, relaxing, visualizing, and, you know, just, just enjoying that moment, right? So that actually gives me a lot of energy for the rest of the day. I'm putting all these positive thoughts and visualization before getting started with any activity, and it really makes me feel amazing, right? It just gets started with the right foot. I don't consume bad energy. I don't care if if this politician is in a scandal, if he stole some money, like I don't care about that. I, I care about my own goals, right? And then the last part of your day is extremely important. Right before you go to sleep, if you consume bad energy, you're not gonna have a good sleep. Next day, you're gonna be more tired. Next day, you're gonna feel more, more energetic. You won't have a good mood if all you're thinking about is negative thoughts. Like literally your actions and how you feel every day is dictated by what you think, right? And even if you think that you're watching the news, you're, you're not actually thinking negative stuff, you're just watching, all that information is being consumed by you, it's processed, and it goes into your subconscious and, and you just act differently, right, in life. So another thing I'm doing is, I'm going to my bed, 
I, I just put my headphones on, noise cancellation, and I put some, some audio, some songs that are like uh, meditation songs, and I just visualize the next day. I visualize my goals. I, it's super calm, and I have an amazing sleep. I'm out like this, right? So you can do that also with an audiobook. You can listen to a nice audiobook that gives you, um, you know, self-development, help, or business related stuff. I would do I would do self development mostly. Listen to an audiobook called The Monk Who Sold His Ferrari or it's a book, uh, Robin Sharma, and it's an amazing, amazing book. I'm listening to that right now, almost finishing it. But what I wanna tell you guys is that this simple tip of starting the day the right way and finishing the day the right way gives me more energy because I, I'm less tired. I have a better sleep, I have a better attitude, I'm putting I'm putting positive thoughts in my mind. I'm removing all those negative thoughts. Every time um, I have a negative thought in my mind, I immediately replace it with a positive one. Like, for example, uh, in, let's say right now I'm seeing this guy doing something stupid with his car. Instead of saying, like, man, that guy is completely is a complete douche, I, I immediately realize that I'm thinking about something negative and boom. And I start thinking about something positive, like, oh, nice, uh, nice day. It's such a really nice day. It's super sunny. Um, you know, it's, I'm going to a meeting. It's going to go great. I immediately replace it with whatever that's positive, right? That really helps me. Those are, are two things I do on a daily basis. Um, honestly, if you're looking to be more successful in business, if you're looking to be a happier person, if you're looking to be have more energy, however you start your day, however you finish your day, is crucial to your success in that specific area. And uh, um, I actually wanted to talk about some other things that I'm doing in the morning, some other rituals that are just simply insane insane for um getting out of of your comfort zone and um it's really 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 fun actually but i'm gonna be talking about that in another video i want to make this too long but um hopefully the traffic gets better the real estate agent uh, she's waiting for me and i'm kind of late because of this traffic but um but yeah guys that's pretty much it uh, i'm not saying like ignore everything that's going on in the world like i I um, actually know what's the major events that are going on, like in my country and things like that. But I'm not. I don't watch the news. Like bottom line is, I don't watch the news because I, it doesn't contribute to my goals, to my personal goals. If you feel something is taking away from you, instead of adding some sort of value from your life, remove it. I'm removing everything that like takes value out of my life. I'm just keeping and adding stuff that adds value to my life. Uh, from audiobooks to people to business related stuff anything I just want to add value to my life that's pretty much what I want to do and uh, that's pretty much it guys hope you have an amazing day if you like the video be sure to subscribe if you want to subscribe uh, actually follow me on a daily basis behind the scenes subs um, follow me on Instagram there's gonna be a link below this video in the description follow my stories I put most of my content in my stories and that's pretty much it hope you have an amazing day see you in the next one